It's an absolutely crazy day in the world of Magic the Gathering. We have just apparently gotten a leak from Phyrexia All Will Be One. And on top of that, we've got to talk about the insane magic heist that just happened. Magic. I am a wizard! History. I'm an old wizard! The Magic Historian. My bones hurt. Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. My friends, I hope the day finds you well because we have gathered for a ridiculous installment of Mega Magic News. This one comes in two parts. We have got the leak to talk about and we have the ridiculous heist to talk about, which is definitely humorous on one level. So let's dive in first of all by talking about the leak. Up on the screen, you are going to see an image of Elish Norn Legion Machinist. Now, what's going on here? Well, this was posted and the post said, I opened this in a Dominar United pack during my pre-release. I heard that people have been missing rares and all. But why the heck was this in there? And you can see, lo and behold, we have someone holding what appears to be an Elish Norn from the set that is after Brothers War. So right now we're in Dominaria United, then we go to Brothers War. This would be from the Phyrexian set that comes after that. Now, it has been called into question whether this is actually an authentic leak. So we're going to go over everything, break it down, and I will let you know my thoughts on the subject, all right? Because the jury is still out on this one. It's two white and one for a 2-4 legendary Phyrexian Praetor. It has Vigilance, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, creatures that player controls get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Now, at first blush, this does very much appear to be a standard style of Praetor. If you're not that familiar with how the Praetors work, they have these symmetrical effects that basically give you a boost and punish your opponent in the same sort of regard. So the previous Elish Norn did give a boost and a minus to your creatures, so this would be along the same vein, right? Now when you look at the breakdown of the casting cost to the power and toughness, that is pretty strong. Four toughness is gonna make it so she's going to be fairly resilient and stick around on the board. The three casting cost means that this is going to have an impact very quickly, and this is the sort of thing that white weenie decks could definitely benefit from, right? You put out a squad and all of a sudden they're all getting boosted up. And even if you just have a bunch of tiny little guys, you put out one creature, giving them all plus one, plus one could be enough to swing in hard. And the minus one, minus one side of the ability is incredibly strong. Essentially, it's going to frustrate creature decks, especially ones that want to come in and rush it. You imagine a red deck trying to slam a bunch of creatures onto the board with Norn already in the way. It essentially says, if you play multiple creatures in a turn, you're going to start wiping out your own creatures unless they're large. Now, that's kind of an ability isn't going to have much of an effect on gigantic creatures. But in terms of weenie decks, it will totally hose them and essentially stop them in their tracks. If you can't put out creatures at a decent clip, what are you even gonna be able to do in this situation, right? And the fact that they gave her vigilance as well, obviously makes her even more beefcake because you can play creatures, swing in with it, and have her ready on the defense as well with the fact that if your opponent's putting out creatures, theirs are shrinking too, which makes her a pretty big wall. So, on one hand, there are a number of things to make this feel very much like a real card. We have the symmetrical effects that we normally see on the Praetors. The artwork matches up. We've seen this artwork and it is done by a proper well-known magic artist. So there aren't any real red flags that way, but there are some issues with this card. Some of the minor ones that people have had are things like the name Legion Machinist. They think, hey, it should be Mother of Machines. Now that one actually could genuinely be the name because we've seen hints of that actually when wizards 
pre-spoiled a little bit of what's going on over on New Phyrexia. So they did let us know that they do call them like the Steel Legion over there. So you have that kind of situation. So the name isn't really enough for us to discard the card outright. Now when you turn to the power and toughness, it is a little bit problematic. At four toughness, you feel like that's a lot. She's going to be hard to wipe out. And at three mana, they're pushing this card pretty hard. But that's not enough to really go, okay, it's not real. When you move on to the artwork, this is actually key art. And if you don't know what key art is, it's artwork that wizards will use to promote the set. They'll use it on their website, they'll use it on boxes or other things. Have you ever seen a piece of artwork somewhere and go, hey, what magic card is that from? And then when you go and try and find the magic card, you learn that it actually doesn't exist? Well, in most cases, that's because it was key art. And this particular instance of artwork is also key art. And Wizards very, very rarely puts key art onto actual cards. So that is one massive red flag. The actual expansion symbol as well, which literally just looks like Elish Norn's head with the new Phyrexia symbol slammed on top of it, that feels very slapped together. But more importantly, it feels way too big. If you look at the size of it, it is a big sprawling kind of icon. So you've got that. You also have one of the biggest issues with this card being the second ability that gives your opponent's creatures minus one minus one is way too strong. Like that is an incredibly powerful ability in terms of shutting down creature decks and Wizards has pushed creature interaction more and more in Magic. Back in the day it used to be just hardcore spells and creatures weren't as important but they put creatures way more to the forefront in Magic now and having something that can shut things down to that degree this is too powerful really that second effect is way too strong and we've seen even look in dominaria united look at the tribal cycle everybody got a lord the white lord was a garbage soldier lord white is still struggling to try and get some level of power wizards hasn't found the right place but the ability on this elish norn is incredibly strong now it could theoretically exist but everything about this card is a gimme. And by that I mean all of the information to construct this card is all out there, right? We used to deal with tons of fakes back in the day where people would constantly be trying to pull the wool over our eyes. But in more recent times, we have squads of people who will pull apart these fakes in about four seconds and go, no, nah, this isn't real. Actually, I think the person behind this one, if it's not real, might be the one who was behind the previous Sheoldred spoiler that we saw as well. That one was done in a grainy way, and this one is clearly done with a much more clear picture. But overall, there's a lot here that says that it is most likely not real. Everybody knows Elish Norn is coming. This is key art that was already kicking around. It's literally just taking the same ability from the previous Elish Norn, the plus and minus on creatures, and slapping it on this new one. So, on one hand, this could actually genuinely be real, but there are a lot of flags that say to me that this is most likely not a real card. I have been wrong in the past. I was wrong about Godzilla and all of that too. So bear in mind that this may be a genuine leak, but I lean towards it being fake. Now, let's talk about the crazy robbery situation that happened in South Carolina at Firefly Games. So apparently what occurred was two individuals went into this game store and this game store has a ton of different binders, but specifically, they have a high-end binder. This is the binder with the fat juiciness in it, right? So, people just took the binder and ran straight out the door. These two individuals just booked it straight out with the high-end binder. Now, this is... First of all, mind-blowing in one way that like, bro, let me get this straight. You're going to go into a game shop and you're going to swipe these binders in this place that has cameras in full view in a time where like before, if you go back, let's say four years ago, if you walked into a store with a mask on your face, people are like, you can't come in here with a covered face. I remember convenience stores I went to, you cannot come in here with a covered face, right? Because they were concerned about people trying to steal from them or whatever else, they want your face on the camera. So we live in a time now where you can literally wear a mask anywhere and nobody is going to question it. 
And these people just decided we're not going to wear masks when we go in for our brazen daylight robbery. So they just ran straight out of the building with these binders, right? And actually, this happened a couple of days ago, but the story had an update. These individuals have actually already been caught by the police and they are in police custody booked in. I'm not sure exactly what the terminology is, but according to the information that's available online, they have been captured and arrested. Unfortunately, the cards themselves have not been recovered. So that part remains to be seen whether the store will be made whole. It is a genuinely unfortunate circumstance. You can see that clearly they had some kind of honor system that got abused in this case. They may have to switch to having, let's say, a proxy binder where here's the high end binder these are all proxies if you want to see the real ones then we can arrange to show it to you but we're not handing a binder off like honestly sometimes i forget this too when you're walking around with a box of magic cards there could be a lot of value in there right it's a pretty wild situation actually as a wild end note this is the first time i've ever seen a post on magic reddit have to be locked about a robbery because there was so many people making comments about the lady in the pictures. There was a lot of uh, questionable comments being left. So that was an amusing little side note where the moderators literally had to go, okay, we have to lock this down now because people could not help themselves. Anyhow, that wraps up the news, my friends. I'm going to be doing a fun live stream on my other channel today, and you are invited to come by and hang out if you want to have a good time. If not, I'll leave some links up for some awesome videos for you to enjoy. Thanks for coming by. Big shout out to my patrons, and I will see you all next time.